Hi everybody, Don Balance here with another two minute tutorial. This one featuring NewTek TriCaster with Advanced Edition. And today I'd like to talk about something that happens in a lot of live production with audio, and that is a mix minus. Now during a show, there are times where I might want to take my audio feed, everything that's happening in the show, and send it somewhere. But there are times when I don't want to send the entire audio show back. For instance, if I'm using talk show, I want to be able to send the entire audio show back minus the caller. If the caller is still included in the audio that I'm sending back to the caller, then they're going to get an echo and it's going to become very disconcerting and, and confusing for them. Uh, there are also other times where I might just want to just take the output of the DDRs and send them to the main mixing board of the house so that they can just play the output of the DDRs without all of the other house audio going on as well. So just a couple of examples of how you might use a mix minus. Now let's take a look at how we can set one of those up. So here in the TriCaster audio mixer, we have two different audio levels coming in, and I'm just using the DDRs for this example. So let's say that this is the audio from my show, and this is the, or I'm sorry, this is the audio from my show, and this is the audio from my external talk show caller. So I want to be able to remove DDR2. So I'm going to go to the controls for DDR2 and I'm going to go to the routing. Now here I can control what audio goes out, what audio output, in what configuration. So let's just look at one, the master output. Each audio output can support up to four channels of audio and you've got four outputs that you can use. Outputs one, two, three, and four. So you can set up however you want on a single output. Right now, the whole show is going everywhere by default. What I'm going to do on DDR number two is on aux one, I'm going to remove it from the mix. And when I do that, if you look at aux, if you look at aux one, you see aux one is only receiving the audio from the rest of the show. It is not receiving the audio from our caller, but the other outputs are. So this would be the one that I would want to send back to the caller. And again, if I go to my output configuration, I can say on output number two, I want to send out the audio for aux one. Now I'm sending out the mix minus and aux one is what I would send back to the caller. I hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. And if you have any suggestions on other topics you'd like covered, please put them in the comments below. And tune in again next time for another two-minute tutorial.